The most beautiful things in the world cannot be seen or even heard, but must be felt with the heart. Hello everyone, my name is Skylar, and the relationship I would like to talk about today is with my boyfriend Jake. The reason why <clears throat> I have chosen this relationship is because it is far more than just a typical boyfriend and girlfriend relationship. This relationship was built for over five years. There have been many ups and downs, but overall, I wouldn't trade it for the world. Since the first day of my sophomore year, I instantly clicked with Jake. We had the same friend group at the time, in a class or two together, and I will always remember him making me laugh until my stomach hurt and smile until my cheeks turned red. When we first met, he was dating one of my best friends. So that meant I was pretty much around him all the time. In the beginning, we had no idea what would come of today. After that, we became the best of friends, talked almost all the time, and hung out together anytime we could. There was a gap year where we kind of faded and didn't talk as much or hang out, but the year after that, we were back to being together anytime we could. He was there for me for one of my hardest heartbreaks I've ever been through. He was my go-to for everything. It wasn't until our senior year of high school that we felt something was different. That was the year we ended up together. And ever since then, I've had the best days of my life. Almost going on two years of being together and not to mention long distance due to him moving away for college. As I mentioned before, Jake and I are doing long distance, which I'm gonna be honest, I told myself I would never do because I wouldn't be able to handle the heartache. I will say after two years, it's the best decision I have ever made. If a person is really worth it, the distance has nothing on you. When being in a long distance relationship, communication and listening is so important and you must be able to voice how you are feeling and never hold anything back. With that being said, mindful listening is so important. This means that you're giving your careful and thoughtful attention as well as responses to the messages that are being received. It is proven that if you tend to tune in to mindful listening when you're talking to someone that you deeply care about, mindful listening comes in all the time in our conversations, whether we are, whether we are explaining how we are sad, disappointed or angry with one another. When we are expressing our feelings, we are tuned in to one, to one another with no distractions. We are always paying full attention and listening to what is being said. If we were to blow off what is being said and not truly listen, the relationship would never work. There would always be some type of conflict. As I mentioned before, the relationship we built took years to build. It was not something that just happened overnight. Going along with mindful listening comes with responding. Mindful listening is something internal. Now we're talking external. This is giving observational feedback. This is where you are really listening and will have a well thought out response. When we have our day to day conversations, we are always responding back and forth with a full blown approach. There is sometimes where the responses can be short depending upon the topic that is being discussed, but it's not very often. The way we respond to each other is such a big factor. This is because when you're responding, there are a lot of thoughts, feelings, and emotions that can be crammed into one sentence and or conversation. I may be talking about my day or how work went, and he would respond with questions or feedback, not just as simple as, oh, that's good, or I'm glad. Our responses are what keep the conversation alive and moving forward. There is never a boring moment and that is super important. As much as listening and responding plays a big role in our relationship, so does our expressions. Verbal expressions are such a key role in communications and in building a relationship. It has become obvious that the relationship is not all sunshine and rainbows. There is conflict. Emotions are so important and also just as important as important to express them and make sure you do not hide them. For example, if I'm angry, do you think slamming doors and storming out would be a good idea? No, it would not go over much better if I just had told him that I'm angry with you. This would be a much better way to express my feelings with him. This is also a factor of maturity. You should be able to talk it out 
and have a conversation with your significant other. One rule that we have is if something is wrong, tell one another so that we avoid conflict and are able to talk it out and solve the issue together. If it would have happened, if I would have stormed out, this could have been a bigger conflict and that may even cause us not to talk. It is never a good idea to hold your emotions in. You should always feel open to showing your expressions. Our emotions and feelings are involved in our everyday life and it is very important that we listen to them when we are feeling a certain way. Jake and I have very strong emotions and we do not hide them for the most part. Recognizing our, feel recognizing our feelings is very important. I catch myself asking, how am I feeling? As well as asking Jake the same thing. You must learn to know when you are feeling a certain way and notice it in others. You're labeling their feelings. It is key for Jake and I to always be aware and considerate of others' feelings. I would never say or do something to intentionally hurt his feelings, nor would he would mine. We recognize what might be right or wrong to be said in the given situation, and it's not always easy. Over time, it will come naturally. The last thing I would like to bring up is bonding. In any given relationship, there must be a bond created. For the most part, the bond is what starts off the relationship, and after that, it just keeps building. Jake and I took five years to create the bond we have today, and I wouldn't change it for the world. It took time and understanding to build what we have today. He saw me at my low and was able to pick me up and put me back on my feet again. He was my go-to for everything I ever needed, and was I could always count on him. I will always cherish the bond that we have created and will continue to build it every day. The time spent to create this bond will always be memorable and I would not want to share it with anybody else. This relationship has opened my eyes up so much over the years. It has really shown me how my emotions and communication skills come into play. I will forever be grateful for the relationship I have with Jake. Thanks for listening.